Okay, so this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to have an is from state method, which takes in an argument and then compares the input to the state that this person is a part of. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this method. So the method is is from state. Now this is a function on the object. So I'm gonna create a function here. Now I have a function which doesn't do anything, but I have the is from state property of the person object be a function. Now, what does this function have to do? It needs to accept a string argument, which is the state. So let me accept that here, state, okay? And now I need to compare the state to the state of this address object of the person. Now, how do I compare it? How do I, so in order to compare it, I need to get the state first, right? How do I get the state first? I could do, you know, person dot address dot state, but that would have the problem of depending on the person. This is what we talked about earlier. If person were to have a different, uh, you know, which, which were to point to a different object and you're holding on to the object in, the, in another variable, nothing's gonna work. So you don't wanna do person dot address dot state. You need to do the self objects reference dot address dot state. And the way to do that is using this. So I can have logic here, which says if this dot address dot state is equal to state. Notice that I'm using the triple equals here. The double equals should work, but I as a rule always use the triple equals. So if they're equal, I return true. Else, I return false, all right? And this is, this is it, this is the implementation. Now, if I call this from state and I pass in CA, now it's gonna compare this dot address dot state to CA. Now, this dot address dot state is this object dot address dot state, which is CA. It compares CA to what I've input, which is CA, and it'll return true. If I pass in ABC, it's, this state is gonna have the value of ABC. It's gonna compare CA to ABC, and it'll return false, okay? So this will work. One other shortcut you can do is you can actually get rid of this if condition. You notice if uh, we are e evaluating this expression, it's a Boolean expression. If the expression is true, you return true. If the expression is false, you return false. Instead of doing the if, you might as well return the expression, right? If it's true, you return true. If it's false, you return false. Just return it. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to change this to a return. And uh, I don't need this whole if block at all. So it's gonna return whether this is true or false. Now if I were to run this from state of ABC, let me console.log this, log, and uh, reload and run it returns false. If we were to pass CA, it returns true. 